Rules are not necessarily sacred. Principles are Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Hello everyone, I am Sacred. A hearty welcome to you all and thank you all for joining me in my let's play of Hearts of Iron 4 as the great nation of Austria Hungary. There we go. Our safe game is called God Schütze of Franz den Kaiser, which means God Protect Franz the Emperor, which has been the anthem of Austria Hungary. So we shall do that, let's get straight back to the game and prepare ourselves for the war against the Yugoslavians. Yeah, welcome, I played it already. V17 attack from let's remodify that from these provinces strike directly into Belgrade. And Scorpia. At least 24 attack uh, through that sort of the work rates. We have to, well, decrypt them. Have fun, thank you, I'll have fun. I think we'll get that all the time when we start to play the game. Belgrade, so there you go. What? Uh, I did move my troops, okay, we can do the pressure for Slovenia. Slovenia has been ours since the dissolving of Venice as a state. And the Slovenes have always wanted to be a part of the Germanic people. They are separated from us by time. But we shall prove to the world that any difference can be reconciled. reconciled. We shall prove that. So... Oh, wait, oh, it's cancelled. Oh, I have to keep my troops there. Look to that. I have to keep my troops in these provinces. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna keep them there. That means that that flag is exposed. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Troops, come on. Just move quick so I can redo the three. And can we do it now? Oh, we cannot. Uh, that's such a. Why is it such, such so complicated? Why? Let's see. I'll simply move the half of the units to that province. And they will actually have to keep there. Just because I think the AI is marking with me. I'm gonna separate the troops here. Create a fallback line, uh, state of fallback line in these three provinces, which will be the which will be Upper Austria. Uh, Upper Austria has only two provinces. Uh, th that's the problem. Only two. Well delete that order. Just delete it. Hello, game. You don't uh, not listening. Well, <laughs> I'm not listening. What civil war for fascism? No. Fine. They must They must be one of the people first. Okay, that's Upper Austria now in yeah, Lower Austria has only two provinces as well. Such a shame. Ah, for the, for the line. These two provinces. Well, you have to get an infantry division. Let's separate you out. Into this army, the eleven divisions there. Eleven and twelve. Fine, like that. Okay, and now I'm managing things. 11, 11, 10, 20. And now 21 for this front. There we go. This should be somewhat doable. Let's say, not to all of these provinces, to only these. Now, yes, we can pressure for Slovenia. You'll attack straight into Belgrade, perhaps in the Scorpia. Well, these ten divisions will... Well, they... Yeah, we can't give them any commands yet. Fine. Well... General Karl Egelser. Can get up there and our air fans. We have, we have an air force of 1920 people. Well, our army is stronger. Close up to 2 million. No, 2 million. <laughs> up to half a million. How did I just come? 2 million. Not here. Well, okay, open Jäger Division. Oh, Poland declared war on Lithuania. Oh, Poland, oh, Poland. I'd, I'd really like to declare war on Czechoslovakia, but I cannot because I'm not fascist and the world tension isn't 50% yet. So I think even if I declare war at that time, that they will join the Allies, which uh, me and Germany don't want. Oh, fascist assault divisions form. Mm, I guess that's fine. Yeah, we are 56% fascists. I mean, if a coup happens, we should win. 
Daily changes plus 0 0.05. Okay. Well, at least that gave us plus 0.2% more people, people to recruit into our glorious army. A male lead to war with Yugoslavia. Well, I want, I want, it should lead to war with Yugoslavia. I want them to deny it and I, I want to annex all of the old territories that have been ours. It's too bad. I mean, I think we should have a claim on our old imperial, on our old imperial territories. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, we don't have a claim on these old imperial territories whatsoever. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, we are pressuring the Slovenians. I mean, pressuring the Yugoslavians for our build of territory. Okay, now we got Austria again. Now, well, <laughs> I think the Hungarians don't like it. We are simply big Austria now. We are the father. We are the father and issue front. And time to declare war against the... to conquer the... It will take too long. It is by that time they will be next. And they are guaranteed by the British. So one more reason. Okay, I, I cannot take them out. But in this event, it may be possible to... Uh, accept them. God damn it. The British did instantly, instantly guarantee them. Ah. British, British, British. Fine. I mean, we could leave the faction, but that from well, I mean, it's good to have the Germany. It's good to have the Germans as our friends. Therefore, we will stay in the faction. We are we are pressuring Slovenia. I'd really love to go to war with Italy and take all of the imperial land back of Veneto and Lombardy. At the end of the Spanish Civil War and surprise, surprise, the nationalist won. Who would have expected that? Three more days than the war against Yugoslavia may happen. They have really no troops ready against us. So, uh, pressure Slovenia. And what happened? Uh, nothing. 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 Oh, they did see this. Okay. Then I, I wanted to go to war with the Yugoslavians. Well, that will come later then. Now we can um, focus on what? Steyrman, <laughs> Mischa, uh, Arm, Soviet Arm, Cooperation, Expanded Network. Fine, I think I will go ahead. I think I saw a tree here about Slovenia. Yes, I can industrialize industrialize Slovakia. Oh, it's Slovakia, I'm not Czech. God damn it. <laughs> Do we get any factories here? I mean, only three. That's not really much. Only three and seven. It's a good focus tree, but really not much. I will go ahead with the way to France. Again, a next war against Switzerland. Oh, against Switzerland. Against Switzerland. Hmm, that sounds rather nice. Oh, but they have 15 to 26 divisions. Later, not now. Let's just go ahead and prepare for war, I guess. Fine, fine. Prepare for war. There you go. Slovenia is a... Oh, it's actually a core state. I wouldn't have expected that. It's a core state. Ah, nice. Well, Yugoslavia is, well, they have their own focus tree as well, but it's somewhat not big. But at least they have it. Yeah, taking the checks isn't possible since they are being guaranteed by the British. And Germany is probably yeah, demanding the Sudetenland from the checks. So, the best thing we'll do is just to wait. Well, I think because I may lack, I will go ahead and get the business interests. Because I don't have many provinces, but I aim to get a really strong industry, therefore, yeah, we will need that. Let's get three, four more, actually four. Let's get six more, so we have 36 more civilian factories. And then later, if I have 30, I can start to do my slow but steady pace of the industrialization. So, we are standing side by side with our German brothers. Perhaps, perhaps we have 7,000, it's well time to modify our divisions and add them one more infantry each. One more infantry each. Yeah, we really, we have a heavy need for artillery, that's for sure. 
Uh, let's check my production. I am getting yeah only one. Okay, that explains why it's lowered by three and improved by three. Now we should get more Fatal Bitsen. Which just means fiat artillery if you're interested. But we are still a landlocked country. We have to capture the Dalmatia. Well, if Germany enters World War I, I will just go ahead and declare war with Lavia. That's it. Do we have a focus for that actually or don't we? Um I don't have a focus for that. Pressure for Transylvania. Oh, I can pressure the Romanians actually. Oh well, it may lead to war with Romania, but I'm not afraid of that. They have 28 to 36 divisions. Mm. It's quite strong actually. But nevertheless, let's go ahead. Here, With the field marshal Tobias Schmidt, all of our troops into one strong army. Get that army up against the Romanians. Just, just draw a simple line to capture all of Romania. There we go. Oh, we are training no units here. We have anyways minus. Fine. I'm gonna ah, armor divisions. I have to train. I can cancel these Chanel divisions. Huja, Janja. I guess let's get. Oh, actually, I could need some Alpmega division. Yeah, I'm gonna train some Alpmega divisions. Let's say 10 of them should be fine. And time to train our troops, they are really just so uneducated trained. With training them without equipment may be hard, <laughs> that's true. Fine. I'm not gonna train any units, just train them. But still they need equipment, so I really can't train them without having the artilleries and the infantry equipment. Well, our army is a half million strong, let's rather shockingly strong let's ready ourselves for a possible war against the Romanians I hope that uh, they will accept it's all the Munich agreement of course Germany got uh, the Sudetenland now but they're still being guaranteed <laughs> why that doesn't make any sense uh, the Sudetenland has been former Austrian territory Germany I we want it back but we can't of course let's get back Sally Okay, let's pressure Transylvania. Well, Romania has been long in possession of states that simply do not belong to them. The Transylvanian region has been part of Austria-Hungary for longer than remembrance, and we will take it from Romania if we must, no matter the price. Uh, they've bypassed the first Vienna Award. The second Vienna Award is will be granted to Hungary, but Hungary doesn't exist, therefore they will bypass that as well. Well, they will get Memel, the good old province of Memel. Uh, yeah, we should get a war economy now, I think. Mm. Yeah. Let's get war economy. Now we have 17 free factories. Yay, great. Well, my core population is only 70 million though, so this game must be checked. <laughs> Look, Poland next every province except of Memel. <laughs> the, the Lithuanian state will be demolished. They're doing the Grand Duchy Legacy, but that won't help them. <laughs> uh, Poland really got rid of the Lithuanians quite quick. Well, I have to annex Kharkov, Kharkov, Lvov, and Stanis Stanislavov. Yeah. Prussia for Transylvania. Well, I really hope that the Germans will actually give Slovakia to us. Be, 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 I mean, normally they give Slovakia to their puppets, but uh, they may give it to us as well, if the mod is superb. So, our war against the Romanians will probably start after around 40 days. <coughs> what are the British up to? The British, the British, the British, the British. It's, yeah. Uh, Neville, Ch Neville Chamberlain is the Prime Minister of the UK. Alright. Well, I would say it's time to, well, I mean, for everything. Raupenschlepper Ost. <laughs> Why is it called like that? Anyways, let's go ahead and improve our industry. Never mind, let's mm, get our first tanks. I wanna get a proper tank division, but I have to get this medium tank, only then I'll be, well, 
happy with the things I have, and then I will start making Blitzkrieg Panzer Division. And delay. Oh, this is finished with delay. Time for the elastic defense. Although it's not really necessary because we don't have any tanks, so I would rather improve my artillery to be honest. Kurt Schnussig injured. Well, we won't go to war against them anyways because they are simply. Why would they like to send a pack with us? Hmm. I don't know. I'll fine. Come on. Just 20 more days. Then we're gonna see if the Romanians are willing to give their provinces to us or not. <coughs> Why is 1.1k artillery still? We are only getting 4 per day. Only 4 per day. It's rather sad. Let's train our division, let's train them properly. I mean, they are green, they are simply green. That is hard to accept. I'm gonna speed up the game until uh, that only one more day is left. The fourth international, of course the communists make their bloody internationals. Okay, now stop training them. That went quick. When I sped up the game, what happened? Denmark, well Denmark did, land, did give land to Sweden. Okay. Right, all right. The German Reich claims memo. That's also a new thing. Oh, MP40 still. By the way, the pressure for uh, the pressure for Transylvania. Now, the moment of truth. Did they obey or do they resist? We shall find it out now. Army focus. Yeah. Let's see. Did they seed their provinces or not? Where's the event? Oh, war, war is, um, well, the fool is more than the troops, so do you want to declare against national spirit war for Transylvania? Well, which grants us nothing, basically. Well, they are democratic, so that may erupt to the Third World War, but I'll just save the game, because I don't want to end. Time to declare war, and to break through the Romanian lines, which is going with a quad ease, because... Oh, we have really good soft attack. There we go. First units pushed in. First units pushed in. Our airplanes get active and get air supremacy. Air superi superiority. And, well, German armor cooperation. Yep, I'd be glad to get the German armor cooperation. Pushing into the Romanian country. Our army here, I cut them off, but okay, we are being attacked. And our main thrust is going on there. I thought we should win this war, nevertheless. It shouldn't be a problem at all. You could call in the German Reich. I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and simply just um, request penalties from them. I'm sure they'll give it to me. Yeah, thank you. Just 10%. They're just giving me 10% of their artillery Germany. Couldn't be more couldn't you be more grateful? <laughs> We have certainly no claim on all of Romania. Well, I think I'll annex Romania and leave them in Bessarabia. Just to have a buffer state against the Soviet Union. So, the Soviets, yeah, like you say, <laughs> yeah. Just because they're nuts. So, I mean, we should be able to rename the country to Moldavia then. Like Moldavia, yeah, that'll be funny. Or maybe I think I'm gonna make them my puppets. If I make them my puppets, if I annex this these regions. They make no puppets. Let's see. Their population is, yeah, enough. I think yep, they will be made puppets. That's for sure. Puppets they shall be made. Romanian here. They did reinforce the line. They have some Czech volunteers. So look to that. They would have expected that Czech volunteers in Romania. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Well, we need well, yeah, equipment. Let's see. We lost. 43,000 Austrian, Austro-Hungarians. It's too much. It's too much to be true. Why isn't all of our armor pushing? Oh, they, they did reinforce the line. Okay, I have to call in the German Reich. And they will join the war. Now let's see, will they help me? Will they help me? Modify, please give me more of your equipment. Okay, nice, now I got the weapons as well. Great, great, great. But I still need their armed help in the Romanian war. 
Oh, that's a good opportunity of encircling some troops there. Of encircling three divisions there. Oh, they uh, they did escape. They, oh, the AI went smart. How can how can it be that the AI is actually doing smart decisions? That's that's primer. That's first. Uh, if we push to the plains of Romania, then it shouldn't be a problem. But we have to push to the plains. Well, they have 911 and 317 zero please. I think we'll puppet them to keep the well. We'll just annex all of Transylvania and puppet the rest. Be uh, kind to they. Maybe also get Moldova. Maybe, depending on their strength of Moldova, we may get it or we may not. Time for encryption and decryption. One of the most important things in history. Well, let's zoom out. We actually didn't zoom out in the whole episode. Let's see. China is in war with Japan, and there is a provisional government republic of China. They are fascists. Well, who would have expected that? I'm playing with a mod, but I don't know which mod is making the game that interesting. That's certainly a good thing. And yeah, German Reich, oh, they did not give Slovakia to us. Such a shame. I'm Germany, really. Why didn't you give Slovakia to us? Oh, it's sad. We can't annex Slovakia, I guess. Well, a German armor corporation. Oh, let's do the nuclear experimentation. Yeah, the first country of what Poland joined the Allies in 1938. Well, oh well. Do we have German troops? Uh, German troops are coming to fight for us. We have, I mean, uh, oh, they're doing bombing. I don't like that their participation is rising more and more. Look, we lost 130,000 troops. I wouldn't have even dreamt that the Romanian army is so strong, to be honest. It's way too strong. How did they muster such a strong army in such a short time? How? Just how? I'll get these 10 divisions and just march into Bucharest. Just why not? Just why not, after all? Come on, just win it. 98, I wanna see it, 99, then 100, 98. Come on, 98, 99, 100. It's no, it's not it's gonna happen, is it? Or even 94. Let's speed up the game, that's simply just uh, unbelievable. That we can't have it, can't make any success in the war. We simply, yeah, you have minus 11,000 equipment, that's the problem. No success, no success. We can't break through. We simply cannot break through. Is that to believe? Come on, Germany. They should help us. The Romanians, they are <laughs> unbelievably strong. Come on. No. No, no progress. We are just losing manpower. We lost 200,000 already. Is that a joke? How many are we gonna lose? Just the German army. I mean, nah. Fine, thank you, thank you, German, thank you. Although, uh, I think it wasn't bad for us. We can't achieve a breakthrough in the mountains, and the German help is not uh, in, uh, is not, is not existent. We are in war with Romania. With the combat gets stronger and stronger day by day. And the amount of room for pact. Come on, we lost 280. 89,000 troops already! That's unbelievable! Unbelievable how the Romanians are encountering our attack! Oh my god! It's simply a rageful thing! It's. We, I mean, we have only. We did waste like 300,000 troops on that! And Germany even isn't fighting! Even isn't fighting! And finally, they're sending their troops! Finally! Finally, thank the God, thank you, Germany, for your help. Let's ready themselves. Let's re-equip them with equipment, with artillery, etc. So they can ready uh, the war. I thought it would simply march into the country, but nope, that didn't happen. The Romanian obstacle. I will annex them anyways. Let's request Slovakia. We have so far had good relations with Germany, but the annexation of, Chesla of Czechoslovakia keeps up, keeps us, keeps from us the third imperial city of Prague. We can make diplomatic efforts, but it remains to be seen if Germany will exercise. I hope they will. 
I have army attack. Can I get somebody else who would help us? Infantry division attack. Yep, he would help us. Insanely. Somebody here. I guess we had someone with the rights. Where was it? All, all or above all. I need to have all above all. If I want to win the war. Let's get order above all. Order above all. I mean, let's open five. It's quite much though, but I'm just gonna try to attack now. See if it works. If it doesn't, I really need order above all, I think. I do really need order above all. Oh, I did achieve a breakthrough in the Romanian line. There we go. Breaking through, breaking through. Things are working fine. If the Germans could help us though, if the Germans could help us possibly. Thank you. Why are we always getting the new Panzer 1 elements? Oh, the German Reich. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, Romania joined the Allies. I didn't want that to happen. I simply just wanted to annex them. Now we have to occupy all of the territory. And, okay, the Second World War. The Second World War that obviously fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are in the Second World War. I mean, we have German troops here. German troops aren't really pushing. That's a slaughter, a slaughter of our brave Austrian men. Uh, okay, we are getting all these new gifts. Doesn't make sense. Okay, we can't trade. That's the main problem now. The Romanian army is white or strong. We could say that. Yes, we could say that. No, I need order above all. Fine, I will get order above all, you know. So, because I can't other ones otherwise. Thank you, Germany has given us Slovakia. The German government has come to the consensus that we are deserving of a stake in the Slovakian region. They have transferred control of all facilities to us and we are free to make use of the land in any way necessary. That's great, that's great. Uh oh, Germany getting... Oh, well, the Romanians being a tough enemy nevertheless. And the Poles pushing, I hope the Germans will... Oh wow, 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 okay, let's slow down the game to speed 2, wow, that's really... Well, now I should get more military factories, yep. Great, my core population is 21 million, I think Slovakia actually counts as well to the core population. Is there anything what could help us? Yeah, thank for the gift, I'm, I got it like 200 times now, does make things easier. Let's see, uh, do this oil thingy. The Romanians, they have 36 total divisions. God damn, they have too many divisions. I sh shouldn't go to war with them. Well, they could have been our ally, but now instead they are our enemy. Well, 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 well fine. At least we'll get the Romanian land somewhat. So that's fine. But they have so many troops. Since when does even Romania have a strong army? That's the main question. Oh, the Germans being invaded. Yeah, the German is fighting on too many fronts, I guess. At least we did capture uh, Transylvania, etc. Although it isn't our core territory. Banat as well. Well, we still need, we need lots of infantry equipment. We have minus 26,000. Minus 26,000. Why do we have... Such a high minus, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's why we can't advance. Fine, I'm just gonna play on the highest speed and hope for the best. Let's get more, yeah. Karabine 98k. So the Romanian war has come to a stalemate. We did lose nearly half a million, half a million troops already. So if you play in this mods, don't go to war against Romania. Don't, they are too strong. I can't believe how, but they are. And again, the same message. Germans, come on, capture Warsaw. Just capture Warsaw. Well, they are capturing Danzig. They should capture Warsaw soon. Well, they are raging wars on every front. I'm gonna ask them for... Um, let's ask for control of states. Control of Warsaw, let's get Poznan. Poznan, Zaoji. I wanna get Krakow. Krakow. Because it was uh, Austrian territory in the past. And it shall be in the future as well. We need, we need the equipment. There's no way around. 
24,000, it's a heavy uh, obstacle for us. Let's ask the Italians for help. Let's ask our dear Italian friends. A request, I beg you, Italy. I beg you for your help. Uh, oh, they're giving it to me. Great. And Soviet influence in Europe. Germany, you give me as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Germany. 24,000 minus. If the Germans force the capitulation of Poland, they might help us against the war against the Romanians. What about Bulgaria though? Bulgaria should join the war, should join the Axis, and then we can crush the Romanians together. Well, a and puppet of Romania. Well, look to Finland. Finland has been split into two parts. Alright. <laughs> Republic of Finland and. Uh, and what's that? The Finnish Democratic Republic. Alright. Have fun. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, like in roads, I have to capture a control Zalozi. Damn it. Let's get, I guess, eight more. Hmm. It seems quite nice of focus. Yeah, let's expand. That's whatever it is. And sinking John the Commandant. And Germany still couldn't bring uh, the boy to capitulation. What are they waiting? For our help? I mean, no help for you. Okay, our planes got demolished. It's still minus 21,000 infantry equipment. I mean, half a million troops have been lost. That, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Half a million troops. That's a disaster. A disaster for us. Anyways, I'll take a cut here. So uh, thank you all for watching me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a good day to you all and see you next time. Goodbye.